Hello everyone, I'm Timothy McSwain, and welcome back to my Pixelmon Let's Play. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the series is going. I, you guys have to tell me if you think you like it. No one ever tells me, except for like uh, my close friends. Um, if you guys do like this series, let me know, because, I don't know, I kind of feel like... You know, I'm not a Pokemon fan. I'm not, I kind of feel like it's not a good market... Or not a good market, what am I talking about? Not a good type of series for me to do. It's fun, but it just doesn't seem like something that I'm very good at or know very much about or I don't know. Ah, I take a drink there. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm down in a cave, obviously. Exploring a little bit off camera and I found this place. Ouch. That was unintentional. Um... Why do I, I don't need to light this up. There's no uh, monst bad monsters that are going to come attack me. But, nevertheless, my inventory is pretty much like stacked full, as you can see here. Um. I guess I could drop off these sticks. Those aren't too important. I guess they are for making torches, though. Which is what I was going to do here in a second. But I don't really need any more torches, so... At the moment, anyway. So, who knows. Anyway, I know this is vanilla stuff. I won't do too much of it. I caught the most amazing Pokemon off camera. And I felt really bad that I wasn't recording it. Um... So we got to get back to our base in this episode, and I will show you um, the amazing new find of mine. The suspense has to be killing you, right? This is an interesting cave, isn't it? Um, I also want to mine away this gravel because the mod actually changes world generation slightly. Um, I know it does uh, add fossils behind uh, gravel. I don't have any fossils, so it would be really cool to find some here. There's a geodude down here. Dude. I don't care much about the gravel itself. Um, if you can't tell. Excuse me. Okay, mouse, you're gonna let me do this, right? Fossil? Fossil? <laughs> Some Spanish for you? Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to find anything, but I hear this is the best way to find fossils, so. Uh, whoa, what's this? There's a zoo bat. I was hoping it was a gold bat. I think we have a zoo bat, don't we? Sceptile's unable to battle. 
Yeah, I do have one of these, so we'll just destroy it. Um, did I have a Machop last episode? The reason I'm asking is because I have a Machamp now. Machoke, sorry. Machamp is the next one. I can't get that without trading with someone. And I don't have a way to do that right now. That actually got me into a lot of trouble recently. I was looking for a video on how to, uh... Um, on how to evolve the guys that need a trade when you're in single player and without having to, you know, make it multiplayer. And I watched a video, and it was a very poorly done video. But of course, since the guy had more uh, followers than me and uh, clearly had a much bigger ego, um, he called me out for being stupid and a waste of life, apparently. Because I wasn't aware I was one of those, but. Um, I'm a waste of life apparently because I don't have as many subscribers. Although he does say I have uh, five subscribers, which is not true. Um, my subscribers are private. Uh, my number of subscribers. Um, but there are definitely more than five of you. Because <laughs> I've heard from more than five of you. And because it says on my profile that I have more than five. I'm not going to say how many I have until I have quite a bit more. But it's double digits definitely. It's not five subscribers. Oh, we in Extreme Hills? What? A what? Baldor. Oh, I have one of them. He must evolve into something else. So, it's fine. Um, we could catch this Graveler if we can find him. Try to catch this Graveler, because that's the evolution of... Um... What's his face? Um... Geodude. This cave is quite extensive, isn't it? I know I'm going the wrong way to find that guy, which sucks, but... That'll be our easy way back to our house because of keep inventory. So we'll stay around here. I'm not going to walk all the way back because I honestly have no idea where I am and I'm really deep down inside this cave anyway. So. Uh, let's go ahead and actually go ahead and retreat from this cave. Although I do want to find that Graveler really bad. It'd be really cool to find a Graveler. From the look of this cave system, it, it's a possibility we might. What are you? Hunter. Hunter? You're tiny for a hunter, aren't you? Hunter. No effect, huh? Hunter. Oh, he won't let me switch. Hunter can't do anything to this guy. Hunter. Oh, 
What do you mean I cannot flee? There's nothing I can do. Okay, haunter. lesson learned. Don't attack a haunter. <laughs> haunter. Please work. I don't want to fight this guy anymore. I captured Haunter. Cool, so we don't really even need our Ghastly anymore. Because Ghastly evolves into Haunter. But I like Ghastly. I don't really want to give him up. Oh gosh. Ghastly. Haunter. This guy's a better size. Ghastly. Hunter. Gasly. Gasly. Hunter. Hunter. Let's cast this haunt. this haunter also, just because Gasly. he's a bit larger sized. <laughs> hunter. Is that a bad reason? Gasly. Gasly. But it turns out that my Gasly is a good way to fight hunter. another ghost. I didn't think it would work Gasly. that way. This guy has a lot less health. It doesn't even say what level he is. Haunter. Ghastly. Excuse me, Haunter. I want this uh lapis behind you. Okay? Haunter. Ghastly. Haunter. Ghastly. Haunter. I really want to find a fossil. How awesome would that be to end off this little segment here? Yes. To go home with a fossil. No fossils. I guess there's no gravel there. This is the last gravel patch we're going to check. Hunter. If there's nothing in here, we're going to go back. Burp. If there is something in here, we're also going to go back. After we gather it. I mean. No luck. Well, that sucks. Goodbye, Haunter. Haunter. Uh oh. Oh no. What are my coordinates? Uh oh. We walked a lot before I found that home, didn't I? Oh good grief. I think we went this way, right? There's a Persian down there. Because we went through an ice biome. Not even going to catch these weirdos that I find around here. Because I want to get my way back home. This could be trouble. Um, I, I have to find my Pokemon Center, and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I don't even—I don't have a clue what our coordinates were. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the other videos. Ah! Oh, here's a Pokemon Center. That's not ours, though. 
It seems to have grown through a tree. Whoa, I didn't know they made them smaller like this. I didn't know they came in different such different varieties. But here's a good chance to switch to that other guy. We need a flying guy so we can get there faster. Do we have any flying guys? We have a Pidgey. But a Pidgey, oh, Pidgeotto. I think you need a Pidgeot in order to fly on it, though. Shinx. Um, we could try to find our special guy. Here he is. This is our Shinx. It's a shiny Shinx. How cool is that? So we can go. Let's see what this guy knows. He knows Hypnosis, Sucker Punch, Nightshade, and Confuse Ray. And this guy knows. Spike, Crash, Crash, and Shadow Ball. Ball. And, and this, 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 this guy's, guy's, other guy's really small. small. Right. Pigmy, yeah. Hypnosis, Mean Look, Curse, and Payback. I don't know. I kind of want to level up the guy we have already, but I want to get this guy in here. He, what type is he? He's electric. So we can. Uh, let's do this then. Goldie. Goldie. Wait, what level is he? He is level six. Um, and this guy's level thirty-seven. Can't really afford to switch that guy out, can we? I really want to use him though. He looks really cool. Cause this guy's just electric, right? Yeah. So if we could level this guy up, it'd be really awesome. I also caught this guy. This is Alexia, which is the evolved form. But let me just show you guys this guy. Check that out. I think I still want to use Raichu for right now, but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, uh, I don't know. I also caught this weirdo and that weirdo. But anyway, I'll be right back with you guys. I have an idea. Okay, guys. Um, this is the spawn. Uh, not not the spawn, but um, the uh, C that we were just in, uh, in MC Edit. And what's this? It won't. It won't. Oh, it says Apricorn T Tree ID. Um. So, see this. Uh, it's gonna not recognize the special blocks. But what in the world? There's another one. Oh, that's where I'm sitting in front of. So there's another one over there. Let's check that out before we leave. But let's go into Chunk View and see uh, if we can find where we lived. I think, is it here? No, that's, just, again, right by the, uh, the snow. And I don't think we did that. So we spawned in somewhere around here, but... Did we cross a big desert? This looks like another Poke Center. There's one in the, or what looks like one there, one here, one here. They were a lot more common than I think thought they were. Um, as it's loading in, I'm just taking a look here. Is this it? Yep, this is it right here. Okay. Isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yes, we found it! Feel so resourceful. Okay. Now we need to figure out what 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 coordinates these are. Or I can just do this. Let's uh Oops, that's YouTube over there. I don't want to do that. Give me one second, guys. Oops. Okay. <laughs> So, um, now what I can do is now that I've quit out of Minecraft, I can say move player, Tim MC94, move player there, and then save the world. 
Chi, yes, but... Okay, now if we jump back into the world... Um, excuse me. Abra. Abra. Okay, let, while we're here, though, let's check this out. And then I'm going to go back into MC Edit and try to fix that. Another miniature Poke Center. And some Kangaskhans. I don't know why they're so tiny. That's weird. Anyway, I can't, back with you guys again. Okay, now let's, uh, basically I moved the world spawn right in front of the place too, so we should be fixed now. Yep. Okay, um, so that explains why it didn't work. Um, there's two players listed, TimMC94 and Player. And apparently I'm Player, because I moved the Player one right over there, and I moved the TimMC94 one to the front of the building here. But basically what I did is now if we do kill, uh, we will respawn right here in the, the generic area in front of this center. It's the world spawn point now, even if we don't sleep. So that should be helpful. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Heal guys up. So here's the dilemma that I'm in. Um, it's not just because of size or whatever, but I feel like um, Haunter should be a big guy uh, yes. for some reason. So yes. especially since Ghastly is this size. So we have several options. We could just level up Ghastly, or we can use this Haunter, who um, is a higher level. He's perfect, except for he doesn't have the right moves that I want. He has all ghost moves. And um, Ghastly has ga a ghost and poison. Isn't, isn't this guy also ghost and poison? Yeah, but he doesn't have any poison moves. Um, does this guy have any poison moves? No, he doesn't either, but he has Hypnosis and Sucker Punch. This other guy here has Hypnosis, Mean Look, Curse, and Payback, but he's the Pygmy. Um, so, so... Stat, he's rash. Um... Modest. I think I just want to level up Ghastly, as cool as these guys are. Um, I definitely don't want this guy. I can't believe I'm just throwing him away, but we can give ourselves back that Ultra Ball. Um, but I'm going to keep the other guy just in case. But I really want to level up Ghastly. When does he level up? That's what I would like to know. I have no idea. Let's use this. I don't know what number Ghastly is. Oh, there we go. I didn't know you could do that. Ghastly. Number 92. Born from gases, anyone would faint if engulfed by its gaseous body, which contains poison. It doesn't say when they level up. All I know is, and then also, you have to trade Haunter in order to turn it into Gengar. So I don't know, so we're probably not going to be able to do that either. But I'm perfectly fine just keeping Haunter. Haunter's the coolest looking one, I think. Although Ghastly is also really cool. Uh, these guys are so hilarious. Magnemite, Magnetron. Hmm. So poking slow, bro. Anyway, I just I, it's, it could be kind of fun looking through these, but I'm not going to do it on camera. That's my chop that we have. That's my choke that we have. And this is the one you have. You can get my champ if you trade him. And it's the same with Geodude. Upgrades into Graveler. And then you have to trade him to get Gollum. Now, there are other ways to do it, but you guys would have to tell me if you are okay with it. Um, let me drop this stuff off really quick. What's this? Chiseled stone bricks. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, we definitely need more, uh, 
See where's my special store? They are. First time I found lapis in this world. Looks like. Okay, so what about the coal? Oh, coal blocks are in there. As well as flint. Okay. Um we can put the flint in there, and um, I'm gonna make some coal really quick. I know, again, this is like vanilla stuff, not the most exciting in the world, but. Okay, so, oh, we got a TM also, I, don't, I didn't know we had any TMs, um, I need, I need to, like a chest for TMs, what's this, wool, this is random drop, or random crap, we'll put this, oop, bam, there, and in here we'll put the wall, and then we'll just put this retaliate TM here. Okay. That's probably going to be it for this episode, but I do want to... Oh yeah, what I wanted to talk to you about is if you guys are okay with Pokey spawning. Pokey spawns when you do this. Pokey spawn Golem, and it spawns one of them in. Of course, he's going to run away right away, but see... That way, that's the way to get one of these guys. Um, it, like if you wanted to spawn a Gengar, you can do Pokey spawn Gengar. Gengar. <laughs> Gasly. Challenge, bro. Gasly. Gengar. It's level forty-four, only level twenty-four. Gasly. Can we do this? Probably not. You're sleeping, Ghastly? And he's dead. It should be an interesting challenge. It might not work that well, though. Uh, basically, he's not a nice guy. Let's stay away from him. Uh, <laughs> it'd be cool to have one of him, but... Let's do that. He disappeared. Stop disappearing, Gengar. Gengar. And see, you can just basically do that as many times as you want, and they're, they'll be different. See, there's a 47, a 33. So, um, then you can go like, here, here's an Ultra Ball. Please, oh. just get him low enough that you can, uh, this won't work, will it? Oh, now I can't switch. Wonderful. Wonderful. Dusk ball. Because it's dark time. Dark time. Because it's dark time. That'll work, right? Please. Oh. Dusk balls are supposed to work at night. That's why I'm trying it. You stupid idiot. Get in the damn ball. Gang. 
Gengar. Try some different strategies if we need to. Nope. He's asleep. Well then wake up, you idiot. Gengar. Just do it some more, because I know it works. Gengar. Come on, come on. Gengar. Gengar. Just quick attack mark. No, absorb. Don't Gengar. die. <sighs> this guy is like evil. Gengar. Aha! Now we just do bag, pokeballs, dusk ball. He should be weak enough now that we can catch him. Yes! Hey, hey! And then we can remake this. I don't know why they sometimes pop apart. That seems kind of stupid to me, but whatever. So, if you guys think that's questionable, you can tell me and I won't do it anymore. Um, otherwise, we can maybe use it to have some fun. It would be a little bit of a different series than you see most people do that like have the huge channels because they do everything legitimately. And I think for a little bit more fun, sometimes it's not doing stuff legitimately. It's making it for entertainment value, not necessarily you know how you would, might play it yourself. I don't know. I'd have to. It would depend on what you guys think. But like we could do this. Bam. Gengar. Gengar. He is kind of stupid, in my opinion. He looks, especially the model, he just looks really dumb, in my opinion, but whatever. And we can also do that with, uh, and tr level up, try to level up this guy, because, um, because he's a shiny. Which, by the way, you can do also with it, with random ones. We'll show you that for the end of the episode. Uh, you can do a Pokey Spawn. Let's do a Pichu, for example, and then you just type space S after it. Magical. Um, shiny Pichu looks like normal Pichu. Oh, he's just like a little bit, he has glistening parts and he's a little bit more glowy. So you can do that also with like, see he's more orangish. And, and if you want to see that, for example, you can see the difference there. Hey! You could see that it was a little bit more yellowish than this shiny one here. Um, or again with like Pokey Spawn Raichu. He's a little bit more reddish. Like sometimes you can't tell, but then sometimes you just do like uh, Pokey Spawn Ghastly Shiny. And he's Ghastly. kind of bluish instead of. Or Pokey. Let's do one of ours so you can see it. Pokey Spawn, Charmeleon. See, he's shiny. He's yellow instead of orange. And honestly, I think I like the orange one better. But I won't capture this shiny. I'm just gonna show you. We can do a little battle. Charmeleon versus Charmeleon. Charmeleon. You are outmatched, sir. Um. Is that the evolved form of our Ponyard? I hear Bisharp. Where is he? This guy's outmatched. He only has two moves. And now let's switch it out. Switch him out for Ponyard. Ponyard. 
Run. Oh, come on. Just attack. So you see some of them, they just don't look as good, shiny, but... And see, then he'll grow a bunch of levels. Yeah! That's a good way to level someone up. Double their levels from one fight. Um, where's that right you? I still hear him. And I have a feeling that this, uh, that our, our uh, Gengar is going to be pretty OP. So if he's too OP, we'll get rid of him for now. Where did that Ghastly go? He was down there originally. Did he, like, glitch through a wall or something? Or are they just invisible now? Who knows? Last battle of the episode is going to be our next one, and then I'll see you next time. No, oh, it's not even worth it. Oh, here we go. Oh. Get him! Get Pidgeotto! Cormelion. Ah, it's a Fero. What? Is, is Fero is a normal type? I don't remember. I don't know why I still have Scratch. It's kind of worthless, isn't it? Dodrio! And then let's uh, do a switch to Sceptile, I guess. What's the matter with you? Attack that dang guy. Another the duo. I'm pretty sure that um, the next time he levels up, he turns into Charmeleon. Let's see if we can do that for the end off the episode. Probably not, but. I'm pretty sure. I think his next. Um, his next uh, evolution. Uh, his next level up will be an evolution to. A Char Charizard, which would be cool because then we can uh, finally fly around on him and not need boats anymore. Um, so that's going to be it. Like I said, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again in the next one.